What's the what's the feeling now, John? I mean, it was a good win over Munster, but there's a couple of serious injuries in the back of it, particularly the Mac Hansen situation. He's a big loss, um, but it was a needed win. Yeah, first and foremost, obviously the win was important after a couple of tough weeks. Uh, obviously Munster have their challenges and as you said, um, after the game we've had a couple of injuries and a few challenges going forward. But um, look, the result was important. I think um, the manner and how we did it was was big as well. Um, ultimately, on a day like uh, we had with the weather, um, with the wind, the rain, your forwards have to muscle up, and I thought they did a really good job, and um, it set the it set the the scene for the second half, and um, I think we were in a comfortable position. We knew what we had to do at half time, and um, it's all well and good saying that the win doesn't win you the game, but I think we we managed it very well in the second half. Um, I think obviously the the challenge in the sports ground is always managing into the wind and how you come out of it. So look, it was um, it was a huge performance in terms of the um, the pressure that was on us to win so we were delighted with the outcome of it. And you got some good go forward ball in that game as well and the uh, you know Jack Carity at 10 then was able to ping them ping them back a bit was was that a a, go, a proper 80 minute performance was that did the concentration levels be maintained right through I think so um I think when you look at even I'll probably bring it to a forwards aspect is that was probably our best performance all season in terms of 100% line outs we got a couple of penalties scrum was good to me that's attitude to me that's concentration and I think that's where um, we've got to be better as a forward pack where we have little lapses in concentration little um, individual errors and I think that's been the the um, the riding form of the last few weeks and months so to me it was a total performance and it was a it was concentration levels at 100% in a must win game and it just shows that we're able to do that it's just we need to be consistent in how we do it and does does decision making then, if you're if you're concentrated fully, the decision making looked sharper and better? Yeah, absolutely. I think it comes it comes with that. I think when you're in it all the time and look, um, individuals um, and certain individuals, I've dealt with people on the pitch before. I know as you grow and you get experience, some people are able to switch on, switch off. Other people aren't, and then um, it's just finding that balance. But I think certainly as a group, we were switched on. And Joe Joyce had a massive game again. Is, is he? Just, I mean, you knew him in Bristol, so I suppose yeah. you're not surprised by his leadership ability. But it's one thing to lead; it's to turn in the performance on the back of that as well, game in, game out. Yeah, I, I, obviously I know Joe very well, and I don't think he thinks he's fully there yet. I think there's a bit more in him. Um, certainly, getting to 80 minutes will help that. He's been uh, the last 10 minutes. He was um, sucking on the big ones, so he um, he certainly has a little bit more to do. But look, he's working hard in his game, like everyone else is, and um, I think he's more comfortable now than he ever was. And it's just that time in the saddle and being used to everyone. But yeah, look, um, he's. He's settled in well. He's already become a very likable character in the group, and that's important uh, culturally wise that he's he's enjoying it, and him and his wife are enjoying go, and that makes a big difference. So um, they're loving it so far, and hopefully um, there's more to come. Leon on Saturday, um, French team. You're never maybe quite sure what they're at. They were so bad last Sunday it was almost <laughs> they weren't there to lose 45-0 uh, you, you obviously looked at them on film what, what, what are you seeing as, as forward pack and just what they're at I think you could probably say this about most teams in, in uh, France they're big they have unbelievable individuals um, they like it when it gets um, when it gets loose and it gets unstructured and I think from our point of view that's what we've got to control is um, if we get into an arm wrestle with them and we let it get um, loose and uncontrollable in, in terms of how uh, we let the game go that's when they're at their best. Um, they're struggling for results at the moment but you can see they've got some really quality players and um, you, you only have to look at the last 25 minutes of the Bristol game where they were I think it was a 33-10 down and then suddenly they're winning with a couple of minutes to go so um, we've got to make sure that we're, we're switched on and that we don't give them any, any easy opportunities and that can come from anywhere with the team that they have. If you get the result, it sets up the following 
six days Friday, Bristol coming yeah. here. How exciting is that for you? Can you can you detach yourself and just say that's another game? But well, it must be an, an interesting challenge. I mean, Pat Lamb, Kieran Marmion. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's yeah, a so conic return. Yeah, I've been watching them over the last couple of days. Um, yeah, look, there's a lot of similarities, a lot of, um, a lot of, obviously things I know about them and players I know, and it'll be great to catch up with everyone. But at the end of the day, you got to separate yourself and move away. Um, look, we we were over there for five years. We had a, a great experience and great time over there. Um, it's. It's going to be a challenge. Um, it's certainly going to be a challenge dealing with uh, and looking at um, the players that I know and the stuff that I know about them, but it's getting that balance right and not trying to fill our lads with too much information. Um, information overload is not going to do the players any good, so I've got to attach myself and take it as any other game, but unfortunately that's not the way the emotional side of things work. So, look, I'll, um, I'll deal with it next week. We'll see how Leon goes and, um, look, I'm sure Pat will be looking forward to getting back to, to Galway and um, seeing all the people that he knew and his friends and etc. So, yeah, it's um, it's a good challenge. It's a good... I know Joyce is buzzing for it as well, so, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting.